an investment strategy right now um, in terms of securing savings on and get through this economic recession, if we can call it that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, some say gold, others say real estate, uh, Bitcoin. Um, so, so what's the safe haven? What, what do you think? Is it just one thing, or should you um, have have your assets in, in different? Yeah, it, it really depends on the type of person you are. Me personally, I back in the days when I realized that I just put everything into Bitcoin because I was able to bear the risk. I was I was fine with losing everything. Mm. For other people who have a risk tolerance which is much lower than mine, which is very likely for probably the vast majority of the population, I would not say go all in immediately, especially not all in Bitcoin. I think another good alternative could be gold. And if you really think that things will be crumbling down, which is actually a very realistic possibility, you should be buying these very small um, coins of um, gold so you can mm go out there and buy groceries with that when really everything yeah. goes completely um, bad. But uh, if you are not if you are not on the very pessimistic side, I, I would say you could also try also try with real estate. But especially now, if the crisis is going to happen, if it I, I'm, I truly believe so, I, I don't think that they can push uh, push the can down the road another 10, 15 years. If the crisis is going to happen, actually, Fiat for the very short term is not bad because in a in a crisis like this, if it's a depression, if it's a financial crisis, prices usually tend to deflate and they tend to deflate towards fiat currencies. Mm. And um, if you're holding fiat currencies, you get more, more you get more more assets, more value for your dollar in the very short term. However, um, if you're sitting on your bunch of cash for longer than the next year or one and a half years, you might see a significant loss in purchasing power and you will be one of the biggest losers um, out of this crisis. This is my own personal prediction. So um, I do not try to outperform the market. I do not try to to say, okay, the financial crisis is going to start next month in six months or 12 months, or it's going to continue. Right now we see this, that cat bounce. I go the safe way. I hold everything in Bitcoin. You can also do gold, of course, silver. Um, and I do not try to outperform the market in the very shorter time frames. Yeah, I really hold Bitcoin and I know for sure if I'm holding Bitcoin, let it be for you gold and Bitcoin, then um, you are for sure for 100% certainty there if the big moonshot comes. Mm. And if you really try with your whole portfolio to wait for the crisis and to wait for lower Bitcoin prices or whatever to scale into the markets, you will be missing out for sure because mm. it's very, very hard to outperform the markets. The market is designed to take the most amount of people from the most amount of money, uh, the most amount of money from the mo most amount of people most of the time. So um, you will be for sure on the losing side if you try to do that. And mm. um, if you want to go very safely, Way, not putting, uh, not going all in, or not waiting until the financial crisis um, starts to happen, and to catch also lower Bitcoin prices potentially. You should start dollar cost averaging in, and um, this is a very safe way how you can get the dollar cost average um, price of Bitcoin over the next 12 months. For example, mm -hmm. let's say you have $1,200. Um, 12 months, you put in $100 every month or $25 every week, and then you get your dollar cost average for Bitcoin. And going back into the into the past, if you look at all the stock prices, if you look at the price of gold, of of of, of Bitcoin, of whatever, um, dollar cost averaging zooming out in the long run was always a very good strategy. Mm -hmm. It was not maximizing your profits, but it was um, putting your your risk to reward ratio to a very very pleasant ratio. Yeah. So this would be this could be one advice.